Lung gang, lung gang. If you're applying for a job at Argos, you need to know how to differentiate between different uh, catalog objects and stuff. So we need to know how to differentiate in general. So we have this implicit equation. Find the equation of the tangent at the point P. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this with respect to x. Now we go term by term. Remember, when you differentiate a function of y, you differentiate like normal, then you multiply it by dy dx. For example, 3y squared, we know we just bring down the power 6y, so we have 6y, but then we multiply it by dy by dx. Now here is a little bit different. We need to use the product rule. There is two terms here. Product rule, really easy. Differentiate the first term is 6, multiplied by the second term, y plus. Differentiate the second term, y differentiates to 1, multiplied by dy dx. Multiply by the first term, 6x. Plus, you could use a bracket here. Bring down the 2, 8, not going off the power, x. Minus 2, rubbing all over myself here, so. Differentiate minus 2y, the y just goes, times it by dy dx. Now here's an interesting one. What a lot of students do when I'm marking papers is they just leave it as five. They forget that five is a constant and when you differentiate that, it becomes zero. And now what a lot of students do is they rearrange for dy dx. That's just long. Guys, they've given you the point, just sub it in now and then you can rearrange for dy dx after. A lot of the time in the exam, they actually give one of these values to be zero so it's a really clean uh, solve for dy dx. So wherever I see x, I'm gonna change it to minus two y is 1. So if y is 1, I get 6 dy dx plus y is 1, 6. x is minus 2. So minus 2 times 6 is minus 12 dy dx. x is minus 2. 8 times minus 2 is minus 16. Then we have minus 2 dy dx is 0. Okay, I don't have a calculator on me, but 6 minus 12 is minus 6, minus 6 minus 2 is minus 8. We're going to move that to the other side. 8 dy dx equals 6 minus 16 is minus 10. So my gradient, minus 8 divided by 10, which is 10 over 8, 5 over 4, minus 5 over 4. Cool, so we got our gradient. Now we have the point, we can work out the tangent. Tangent has the same gradient of the curve at the same point. So using y minus y1. y minus the y coordinate of 1 is the gradient. x minus the x coordinate of minus 2, the double negative becomes plus 2. Next thing you know, you guys should know this, like, you know, the type of form you're looking for, is we're doing the form ax plus by e plus c is 0. So get rid of all denominators. Boom. 4y minus 4, here you have minus 5x, and then here you have minus 10. Then just move everything to one side. So you have 4y, minus 5x on the other side is plus 5x, minus 4, plus 10, 10 minus 4 is 6, is 0. Nice.